tell anybody you could dig to say some prayers in the evening. And today is today is officially a, a, a sacred site today. So this state is a sacred site. All right, my dog. All right. If you really want to know what the war is all about, taking from this coon ass, there really ain't no doubt. It's about black gold. How could it be so cold? All oh, for the greed and the wants of that dirty old black gold. What is the state facing with now? A problem from that. I hope someone in the government is more responsible than to let all this slide. Uh, I pray this every evening. And I think if we all pray every evening for this, we are doing a good thing for our planet. You live on this planet. You breathe the air on this planet. It may not be good, but look at why it's not good. Because of greed, corruption. We are maybe the last bastion of somewhere that people actually lives off the land seasonally, how you're supposed to live. And it's not a good sign that uh, these things have taken this much of a, a virulence from nature on any level. It's very befuddling to the mind thinking about, well, I hear people say all the time, it's like, Maybe this will bring us to, to someone taking a, and actually doing something about the wetlands. Well, if they don't do a lot about it all and, and, and actually do something real, well, it's Woody Gagley and his plan from 1970 of letting the river divert itself to a new way, whether it's any of the other plans, the, 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 the guy that from uh, Tulane University said if we put these uh, concrete things that are like half tires and put them uh, like pyramid shapes and that, that the snails would cover them and all of this would happen. Well, some of these plans, I don't know which one could work. I'm not a scientist. But I am somebody, if I find out a truth, I'm going to tell it. And it's important that we all tell truths. Time and a lie is old and it's like kind of useless. Anyway, I'm just reading this letter from this is from Chief of a Looking Horse. A great urgency to all the world religious and spiritual leaders, my relatives. Time has come to speak to the hearts of our nations and their leaders. I ask you this from the bottom of my heart to come together from the spirit of nations in prayer. We from the heart of Turtle Island have a great message for the whole world. We are guided to speak from all the white animals showing their sacred color, which have been signs for us to pray for the life of all things. As I am sending this message to you, many animal nations are being threatened, those that swim, those that crawl, those that fly, and the plant nations. All will be affected from the oil disaster in the Gulf. The dangers we are faced with at this time are not of the spirit. The catastrophe has happened with the oil spill, which looks like the bleeding of grandmother earth is made by human mistakes, mistakes that we cannot afford to continue to make. I ask the spiritual leaders that we join together, united in prayer with the whole of our global communities. My concern is these serious issues will continue to worsen as a domino effect that our ancestors had warned us about in their prophecies. I know in my heart there are millions of people that feel our united prayers for the sake of our grandmother Earth are long overdue. I believe we as spiritual people must gather ourselves and focus our thoughts and prayers to allow the many wounds that have been inflicted on the earth. As we honor the cycle of life, let us call for prayer circles globally to assist in healing, Grandmother Earth. We ask for prayers that the oil spill, this bleeding will stop, that the winds stay calm to assist in the work, 
Pray for the people to be guided in repairing this mistake. We may also seek to live in harmony as we make the choice to change the destructive path we are on. As we pray, we will fully understand that we are all connected and that what we create can have lasting effects on all life. So let us unite spiritually, all nations, all faiths, one prayer, along with this immediate effort. I also ask to please remember June 21st, World Peace and Prayer Day, honoring Sacred Sites Day. Whether it is a natural site, a temple, a church, a synagogue, or just your own sacred space, let us make a prayer for all life, for good decision-making by our nations, for our children's future and well-being, and the generations to come that we shall live. Chief Arbor Looking Horse, 19th generation keeper of the sacred white buffalo calf pipe, Walla Coda. I think this is very beautiful that a man from South Dakota sends this letter because this is affecting our planet. And uh, if we don't all pray on this, this is already getting ready to go up the Gulf Stream. If you're not caught up in the greed and all of the rest that goes along with why these problems are happening, try to be of the spirit. The spirit kingdom is much more powerful in this meat we live in. This is in all of the fish. This is in all of the critters, that, the birds that fly, that have no wetlands to land on anymore. A short prayer could be God, if you help these people with this oil spill, I'll do whatever you want. And in saying that prayer, you're doing God's will. If you do God's will, you're doing what you're supposed to do. We breathe the same breath of life. Everyone on this planet breathes that same breath of life. Be grateful for what you got. And know we can do a lot more than we're doing.